Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video will be fairly short. We'll be taking a look at the 2000 milliamp hour wrap power power bank that can output 60 watts of power. So I got this power bank for my girlfriend to keep her Surface Pro 7 and MacBook Pro charged when she's out studying or at school. She hardly charges her stuff so I'm kind of concerned if she will even charge the power bank or end up misplacing it. So let's get started before I start blabbering about how she ends up using my power banks to charge her stuff and how many power banks she has lost. The power bank comes neatly packaged, right away we get the power bank so I'll put it to the side. It also comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable for charging. I'm quite impressed on how compact the power bank is. Compared to my Xiaomi Power Bank 3 Pro, it's much smaller. The Xiaomi one weighs in at about 400 grams and the wrap power comes in at about 374 grams. So it's much smaller and lighter with the same capacity. The size is great for putting it in your backpack and not having to take up too much space. I recommend getting a sleeve for the power bank to keep it from getting scratched and so that you can also keep the charging cable inside with it. So the RAV Power Power Bank has a 20,000 mAh battery that is ready for 72.6 watt hours. It can output a total of 60 watts. It has one USB Type A port that outputs 5 volts to 3 amps, 9 volts to 2 amps, or 12 volts to 1.5 amps. And the USB A port has a maximum output of 18 watts. So the main selling point of this power bank is that the USB-C port can deliver up to 60 watts of power, which is enough to charge most laptops. The USB-C port outputs 15 volts to 3 amps or 20 volts to 3 amps. The 20 volt is what will get your MacBook Pro charging efficiently and the 15 volt is great for the Surface Pro 7. Compared to my Xiaomi Power Bank 3 Pro that I've been using for the past 6 months, the wrap power is much smaller but because of that it has one less USB-A port and I honestly haven't used all 3 ports at the same time so I'm guessing that probably won't be an issue for many of you as well. So the power bank has enough power to charge a MacBook Pro 2019 touch bar model to about 90% on a single charge when not in use and the laptop is turned off. Now if you will be using the MacBook while charging it, you will most likely be getting about 70% charge since it will be draining depending on what you are doing. Using a USB voltage and current meter, I was a little disappointed to see that it did not output 60 watts. It mostly stayed around 35 to 45 watts while charging, which is still good, but I was expecting it to be in the 52 watt area. Still pretty good though, not too bad. My girlfriend has had this power bank for about 3 weeks now and so far she has no complaints on it and really likes it since it's very compact. Now moving on to charging the power bank. The power bank charges through the USB-C port. The wrap power can take in a maximum of 30 watts which would charge the power bank from 0 to 100% in about 3 hours. If you use the typical phone charger that outputs 18 watts then it will take about 10 hours to charge. So I recommend getting a charger that is capable of outputting 30 watts to get the benefits of the fast charging in the power bank. I use a 60 watt power bank from Aki that has been doing the job just fine. While charging the power bank it stays very cool. Now when charging a MacBook Pro or any other laptop that needs 60 watts of power, the power bank also stays relatively cool and that's because it's only outputting 45 watts so that is pretty nice. I really like this power bank's compact size, I would get one for myself but my Xiaomi Power Bank 3 Pro does the job for me since all I need is 25 watts to charge my Surface Pro 7 through the USB-C port. Both power banks go for around $45, I think this is a really good deal and recommend it. The price has been fluctuating a lot on the RAP Power Power Bank, so keep an eye out for a good deal on it. I got it when it was listed for $45. Alright guys, so that concludes today's review. Thank you all for watching, leave a like if you found the video helpful, and subscribe for more tech related videos, and I'll talk to you on the next one.